Welcome back. Well, if you watched the NHK trophy, this young lady was a revelation in the free. Unlucky to win in our, not to win in our book. It is, of course, Akiko Suzuki of Japan, one of two Japanese skaters in these finals. The men's, they've got four, would you believe? Four out of the six. And again, the starting element, triple toe, triple toe. Here it comes. Just great speed into that first one, and there she goes. Triple toe, triple toe. Perfect. Just beautiful. Lovely flow into the spin, super choreography. position there so level three and, uh, the grade of execution will go down on that one that's good though double axle What a great look she's got. Akiko Suzuki of Japan enjoying a really, really good season. So uh, that's got her campaign off to a good start here in these Grand Prix finals. Just that one mistake on the spin probably cost her just over half a point. But apart from that, pretty good. I thought it was smashing. Uh, it, the music is very demanding. It's, it's driving the first one, Battle Without Honor or Humanity from Kill Bill soundtrack. Really, that's the what the outfit fits as well. And she captured that feel in the way she skated, the way she attacked the routine. The opening combination was good. The flip was good, particularly that um, choreography running into that first spin was really in keeping with the music. It flowed and it kept the power going and the spin drove round. And the spin that she didn't do well on I looked really difficult to me, Chris. Yes. I mean, I don't know about the, the technicalities like you do, but goodness me, she was taking a risk on it. It seemed anyway. Like... You've got to take a risk. Yeah, she just lost the balance. Here's that combination at the beginning. Triple toe, triple toe. See, we should get a downgrade on that uh, second toe loop. It was mighty close. This was the bit that ran into the spin and you see getting down in that it's like a martial arts move that's what she's trying to capture and then that's exactly what it looked like and captured the feel of there's the axle step sequence went on and on and had so much content just ensuring that you got high levels in it yeah she must be knocking on the door of a level four in that step sequence i would have thought which is going to help her a lot loads to admire in that program yeah transitions throughout the program were really really good there, there, there was no empty bits at no. all were there 
No. And of course, that makes the technical elements that much harder to perform. I saw her training in Detroit in the summer. She went over there to uh, work with uh, Angelica Krilova and Pasquale Ca Camaralengo, work on the programs, and uh, just sat and watched her on the training sessions. She's like a machine, so consistent. So the uh, score of 56.61, the target at the moment. And uh, this is going to go quite a bit higher than that. You can be sure. But uh, she's got to put pressure on the, the skaters that are still to come. Mal Sada, Ashley Wagner still to skate. And uh, 65, her score. Not too bad at all. 67.51, her personal best. But uh, a new season's best for her on the short program, so she'll take that. Very, very well done, Akiko Suzuki. And uh, she now is the new leader.